This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. I cannot believe we are coming on 200 episodes of the show. I'm so elated, I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful to all of you guys. So thank you again so much for everybody who continues to show love and support to the podcast. I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, And of course, to Rogue Media Network for everything that you guys do for me. I truly, truly appreciate that as well. We're gonna be doing things a little bit different on this episode of The Public Affair. Now, before we continue with that, I just wanna give a shout out to just some of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, this episode is brought to us by David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He is the number one sales agent in his office. That's why he's going to help you buy a home or sell your property. There's no reason why he's not the number one sales agent in Alinea Real Estate after all these years. He's still the GOAT. And if you don't know what you're doing, he's going to help you from start to finish. He said, Espanol. So David Santabanez, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Armstrong's Bayou Cafe with my girl, Anika Armstrong. I went twice last week. I went twice last week. It was everything. It was heaven. It was delicious. She's serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cakes, pasta, seafood, and more. Now listen, my favorite is absolutely any pasta that you could choose from the menu. Um, all her seafood is absolutely to die for as well. And those potatoes, those seafood potatoes, they're so addicting. Make sure you guys go check her out at Union Hall and on Union Grove in Woodway. Follow Armstrong's Bayou Cafe Corporation and Nico Armstrong. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Blue Star RV Services, my boy Manny Guerrero, a mobile RV tech who can fix all RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and so much more. Listen, he's dealing with the warranty company, so you guys don't have to do a lot of mess, all right? And all you have to do is call him and his team to go out there and fix your, you know, the AC brakes in the food truck. You guys don't have anything that's operable. Him and his team will come out and take care of it no matter where you are. Follow on Facebook, call the number on the screen of Blue Star RV Services. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public. Of course, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez. They offer team, small group, and individual skills training, and of course, now daycare services as well. They also have elite skills training to make your kids superb star athletes. Um, with with pros like George Deleon. I joked right there, okay? They also offer open play on occasional Mondays and Wednesdays. Make sure you guys follow them on Facebook at Soko Soccer Academy and on Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. And of course, the Public Affair is still a proud sponsor of the Soko Soccer team's coach by Coach Mauro Maldonado and his team and those kids there. So I went to a game yesterday and a and huge shout out to Kevin and Gio. They scored like all these goals. Burga, I saw him score. Um, I, 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 can't, I, I don't want to forget anybody. I should have did that. But they, they're phenomenal kids. Phenomenal teams to Soko Soccer academy um, thank you guys so much for all the love and support i truly truly appreciate it do you need to fix that well it's, yeah <laughs> it's, okay so so i think we leave this in i want everybody okay. to know that this microphone stand <laughs> is the bane of my existence okay. it, it starts to like yeah. look at this it just like starts but you know to it was on jeff akita's right. lap that's okay that's <laughs> right. we're yeah. gonna put it right here in my yes. chest it'll be fine well listen you guys like i stated earlier in the episode we um, are gonna be doing things a little bit different i wanted to bridge a gap between Definitely. episode 199 and episode 200 by doing a clip show it's something that we've talked about for a really really long time mike's been begging me to do reaction videos mm-hmm. we've been trying to do reaction videos you know yeah i know it's hard to coordinate I know, and i, I couldn't I think of anybody perfect enough to do this episode with then somebody who's been in the, in it since the beginning with me yeah. the guy who came out of the closet with me on franklin <laughs> and now we're here on the 21st floor of the alico building we're going to be reviewing a few episodes yeah. we're going to be talking about the show the history of the show um where i'm at with the guests and everything anyway you guys i said his name in almost every single episode of the show he's uh, he's been behind the production and the editing of every single episode of the show and i'm so happy to welcome on camera for we meet for the first time. I think so. It's yeah. the, for the first time yeah. in our interview. You had a Mike Hamilton, but it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys, yeah. this is my um my editor producer and and the guy behind just the public affair. Yeah. Mike Hamilton is here with me on this intermission episode. How are you doing? I am a okay. <laughs> Thanks Andrew. for doing this with me. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I am honored to do this, honestly. Yeah. You, okay, so you and I have known each other what, four, four and a half years? Something yeah, like that. Something now? like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we've produced 200 episodes of this thing. Uh, good, bad, and indifferent. I'll take oh, credit gosh. for all of it. Oh, it's uh, Some of it was terrible. We had some nightmares. <laughs> I mean, it just comes with it. Yeah. You know? That's just the way we, it goes. We, it was we, never you. Okay. Other than the sweating. It was never you. Oh, God. Do you remember the sweating? Yeah, we're going to talk about oh, the sweating. Oh, yeah. shit. I used to... But, uh, yeah. no, when we got started, it's funny because I was mm. going through some of these episodes to yeah. watch today. My God, you've changed. Oh, really? You have changed a lot. A lot's happened in four years. Oh, I know. A lot has happened to you and me both. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I I I think it's fair to say, too, I mean, physical appearance is one thing. Oh, yeah. I think it's just even the way we run the show. Both of us, honestly. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's been a lot of trial and error. Yeah. Yeah. You you have gotten to be this this fit guy who throws (laughs) tires around. (laughs) 
<laughs> and, and I just quit drinking. That was it. So, you know, that's, that's Were all. Were you drinking when we did the show? Oh, Lord, Andrew, Why yes. didn't I know that? Oh, I don't know, because I'm really good at hiding it. Yeah. Nobody in my life knew I was it. Yeah. always drunk on the show. Yeah. I was yeah. always drunk I was, on the show. I was out there in the hall drinking with you. you Is know, that you right? You didn't know it. I didn't yeah. know it. I yeah. had no idea. No, I was, um, so when we first started this place, yeah. um, you know, I was there by myself a lot. Sure, sure. And so... You get bored, you yeah. know, and so you just start drinking, and then all yeah. of a sudden you're drinking a lot. And so <laughs> when my uh, when we were over on Washington, my uh-huh. pancreas tried to get out. Oh, and, really? Uh, so I ended up six days in the hospital and uh-huh. said, "Hey, that's probably enough." Yeah, yeah that, that's about. So yeah. coming up in October, it'll be three years. Oh, okay, no got drinking. you. Well, yep. well, you know, congratulations Thank to you. you. Yeah, Appreciate for sure. It. You know, I went through a stint with no drinking. Yeah. When I obviously you were Tuesday. there for everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when I started working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you really did. Remember, yeah, yeah, we stopped putting drinks on the show and everything, and then I brought the red wine and we called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> the but, red wine was always yeah. my big thing too. You yeah. know, here, here yeah. before we get into the, the you know, we have about five episodes that we're yeah, going to yeah, be looking yeah, sure. at today just briefly. And I want, you know, Mike, I, I wonder, and maybe the viewers, what was your perception when we when we had the idea for the public affair at the very, very beginning when I met you? And I was like, this is the idea that I have. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to go with it, yeah. but yeah. So uh, you came in to Franklin right. where we were. That was our original location. This is our fourth location. Uh, and you've, you, I think you, Ann Harder, and Pete Sousa uh-huh. are the only three people that have been in all four locations, oh, okay. right? <laughs> Other than, whether than me and Corey. Sure. But um, I, <laughs> you were the first one to give us um, the ability to do a show like this. You were the mm-hmm. first one that came in and gave us your, um, I don't know, you trusted us. Okay. You know, you trusted yeah. us to do it. And when we first started it, man, I, neither one of us knew what we were doing. No, for sure. And we had four cameras, oh, and we had all this crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I would Sorry. sit out in the hall and produce this thing as yeah, we did yeah. it, and then I'd have to rush you out to get Bluesville in yeah, for yeah. some reason. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> it was all of that, oh, you know? Uh, yeah. But yeah. no, when you came to me with the concept, I was like, it sounds great. Let's yeah. do it. Um, and, you know, the big thing to me was your, your background in radio. Okay. So I knew that you would be okay you know, yeah. presenting. Yeah, sure. And then I heard you do your ads and I was like, dear God. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, we, we can't front and not say that the, the, when we did the first ad, it was on episode three Yeah, with Goodies. I mean, yeah. we did do it like 20 times. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, don't know. Sure. <laughs> I was still a little green. You're not but, supposed to say that, but yeah. Sure. Nah, okay, well, <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people that. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Well, God, Mike, uh, yeah, um, I, I want to dive right into it. Uh, yeah. We've got five Let's episodes, go. um, you know, and, and we did, there was no. Can I, can I say one thing? Yes, yes, for sure. Listen. Four, four and a half years, you have been a wonderful friend. Yeah. And I always look forward to you coming in and doing these shows. Oh, thank you. So uh, I am super proud of you. And I'm also, and I'll look right in the camera when I say this, Uh I am super proud of Andrew G. and the public affair being associated with Rogue Media. I can't imagine a better partnership. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That means a lot. It was a big deal, man. It was a big deal for both of us. Yeah, I think... We just went in it with no expectations. Yeah. That was the thing. Well, no and knowledge either. No, no <laughs> knowledge. No, yeah, nothing. nothing. I, I had yeah. five people committed on the show, and I was like, well, if it doesn't Ooh. work out, I'll be happy. I didn't realize that you had five people. I had five committed. people committed. I was hmm. like, "Users are going to be the five, and then if it doesn't go anywhere after that, then we're, we're yeah, fine." Yeah, and I'll be sure. happy with thirty views. And you know, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> you've done okay. Yeah, you've it's done okay. been doing good. Yeah, yeah, you've been yeah. great. And I and the other thing I want to say sure. is, and then we can get to it. Yeah. But uh, the other thing I want to say is, I'm so proud of your sponsors too. Oh, there are yeah. some people, so. uh, Alinea. Oh yeah. He's David, been with yeah. us from almost Since day the one. Very beginning. Oh yeah. my gosh. Elite. Elite barbershop has oh. been, elite barbershop is my longest running sponsor. Yes. Yeah, for sure. These, these folks, you know, there's been a lot that have come and gone. Yeah. Um, but thank you to them also. Oh, absolutely. But, absolutely. 100%. But the people mm. that you've had probably the last year or so. Yeah. They have been so solid. Oh yeah, you for know, sure. Such yeah. good people. They've come on here and talked about their products. I mean, it's just been it's it's, it's, a, it's been a great synergy of like advertising and entertainment yeah. and, and your personality. I, it just I, I love this show. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. No, it means a lot coming from you. Honestly, it does. You, you are know, the one that this. I hear the most about too. Oh, oh, is that right? Between you and Ann Harder. Okay. So Ann Harder and is, you know she's like Jesus. So it, she it's, she she's is. A, she's she's, a, she's a, almost Waco Jesus. I, yeah. I can't I can't step in the same floor as Ann Harder. Well, like, <laughs> she admires you quite a bit. I love her. Yeah, yes. she admires you quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And and without Ann, I don't know that I would have been able to 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 get a lot of the other things. Mm-hmm. But without you, I don't think I would have known as many people. I mean, uh-huh. think about <laughs> two hundred shows. You've brought 
geez, what is that, 250 people yeah, in? Sure. Because yeah. we've had some that had like 19 people in them. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, and we need to get to a couple of stories, too, as oh, we're yeah. doing this, because there are a couple of stories that I would like to bring up that aren't in these episodes. Oh, okay, I would love that. Yeah, like the I would one love with that. no door. Oh. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. There, there's, we could talk a lot of shit, too. Yeah, like, okay. you got it. <laughs> well, okay, Mike, let's do it. Um, let's do it. So the first episode that I'm going to be pulling up, um, we recorded uh, this about four years ago. Yeah. Um, it's going to be episode nine, Yeah, Antonio Noni Castillo. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, I want to get that on now. Boxer, uh, right? He's the boxer. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and so uh, we did it with him four years ago. I remember when I invited Noni on the show. I, mm-hmm. didn't, know, I didn't know who yeah. a lot of the people yeah. were. And somebody told me there's this guy named Noni that right. a lot of people know, and he used to be a professional boxer get him and i remember calling him and saying hey you probably have never heard this but you didn't right said, right. you sure. know i have this show that i'm doing and i i would love for you to come on there's no hit there's no agenda yeah yeah, yeah. And, and what do you think he's like that's sure. a big deal yeah yeah so uh you know it's hard to have somebody like that in there and not be like oh my god i'm a little intimidated by this dude oh yeah you know? for sure. <laughs> i mean he boxes for a living yeah but you talk about the sweetest nicest guy nicest guy oh in the whole so world. nice the yeah. nicest person in yeah. the entire and, world and yes honestly very interesting story very interesting yeah. and he's come such a long way too yeah i i, yeah. I just recently ran into him i want to say just some oh, months ago yeah oh, yeah him cool. and his whole family yeah. they're beautiful family shout out to him and his wife that's precious wonderful. and they're, yeah. they're doing so well but yeah i i um well with a name like precious you you can't be anything else for I sure. mean, that's, you know, you're yeah. kind of pigeonholed there so. definitely so um why don't we just get yeah let's go it? yeah i mean I, I woke i woke up at five in the morning yeah um Went and worked out, you know, ran three miles, did my workout, oh, come home, take Mike. a shower. I'm just, I'm work. looking I'm around at the work, studio while he's talking. The gym, um, work out for another two hours, come home. It's the shirt for me. Eat, yeah, barely, my shirt. Yeah. Like, I know. You know like right? nothing, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and then I'm like frustrated, you know, because I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. It, oh, just, and then you can't have sex, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about that too because I yeah. had my last guest on here, and um, when you guys are doing events like that, you can't have sex. Nah, nah, because. Mike, can we talk? Can we just yeah. real quick? First of all, <laughs> do you know how drunk I was on this episode? Oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. so drunk well, on you, this episode. The, the reason that curtains pulled back there is because I was drunk too. So, oh, really? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I no, was. No, that's super not true. But and, and, and um, I kind of want to. You mentioned the room earlier, so this was yeah. actually you guys. This was the first studio that yeah. we had recorded. Closet. In. Yeah, it was literally a closet. Little um, tiny and place. And you know what? A shout out to Steve's Barbershop because if you know oh, where he is, yeah. it's the same building. We were oh, right next shit. to him. Y- you know, yeah. if you could have Steve on here, I would, I would love Steve on here. I need to stop by and talk to him. Steve, seen him in a Steve while. is very private. Steve's a great guy. Uh, yeah, it's a great guy. He's just very private. He's not into like the the glitz and the glamour. No, and, and, yeah. And, but you Steve's know, one of those yeah. dudes that like I I thought I was going to get shanked one night when I stopped over there to sure. say hi to him about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Because he was like he, somebody like looked out the window <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they were doing besides haircuts, but whatever they were, it's private. And that's <laughs> yeah, great. For you know? sure. No, but no, guy. Steve has always been super yes. nice to us yes. and super supportive, and I am so happy for him that he's still going. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah. I drive by there every once in a while, and I just think about the time yeah. he Steve and I'm sorry. Sorry if you don't no, want this okay, much from okay. me, but Steve is one of those guys that like you want to have as a neighbor. Yeah, because he'll bring your trash can in. He'll yeah. watch when your dogs super get nice. out. All of that stuff. Super yeah. super nice yeah. guy. Yeah, I love that. Guy. I actually keep up with him quite often. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. We, we, we message guy. a lot. Yeah, he's yeah. so great. It's cool. But no, yeah. But uh, Elite Barber Shop. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Elite Barber. Yeah, they love yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. So um, it's the shirt for me. Like I don't know why you let me walk in. <laughs> I don't know why you let me in with that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a choice. That's not what I like or the. <laughs> or the Pokemon I, I mean, uh, yeah, the so, little stuff. I, I had to have him. Yeah, yeah, that was my that was my yeah. And then the what giant last, thing like, of what is that? Amaretto or something? Yeah, yeah, we, we made a dream. Right? Oh. <laughs> were you trying to watch? Damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I'm sure precious if she's I'll tell you what I, like she said you mm-hmm. were I tell you what I did like yeah? is that background. The the spray painted one. Um, looking back I, at it now, I wasn't into it. I liked it. Did you? I, I okay. thought it was cool just simply sure. because I had an artist I knew come in and do it. Yeah, you know, and I thought I was big shit because I got somebody to show up and do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was great. <laughs> you better come over here and get this shit. What the fuck? Sex. I don't give a fuck about no damn fight. You better come over here. And fuck me. <laughs> Kick your fucking ass. I'm trying to make another Dang. baby. <laughs> Threatening no, people. So, I mean, was that like a? I I, I kind of want to d- dive into that a little bit. Okay. You've heard of the term cock strong. Yeah, I, I talked to this stomach. about Armand. I talked with this about with it with Armando Villarreal. It's the shots we took a shot. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I talked about it with Armando Villarreal, uh, and he was um, you know explaining to me what cock strong was. A table. You can't have sex. Who like like releases your what endorphins or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it uh, I guess it it relaxes you. You know what I'm saying? Well, exactly. no yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, it relaxes you, and then 
I guess you have to st basically start out over. Like you're you're already at your, your you know your peak, and then yeah. you know you let all that out, and it's just like. You just feel drained, and it's like, dang, I gotta work myself back but up. Doesn't it you know? feel good? <laughs> 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 like, let me tell you, yeah. I, um, <laughs> when I look back at this, right, it's funny yeah. to think about it, <laughs> but um, I feel like. I feel like I would. I wish I would have never asked that to him. Really? Because he's, you Why know, is that? While, while you could obviously, I don't think he cared. Um, I feel like now, me four years later, I feel like that was such an intrusive question. Like I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think that um, early on, that's what you built your show on true. for the most part. Yeah, that's you true. You know, I mean, you've you've told me before that you stopped being as slutty as you were, you yeah. know, in those beginning episodes and stuff. And yeah. I and I agree. You've come a long way as like a, just an interviewer, you yeah. know, and a host. So um, well, I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> we look at this, and yeah. I mean, we can laugh at it and stuff. But yeah, I don't. You know I what? don't think I regret it. I just. No. I, it was just like, damn. Why don't it was serious ass business. Yeah, so we know were doing what, it. You know what it was with him too, though. Like I remember when he came on the show. The very first thing that he said in the beginning of the episode was that he really wants to just like leave a stamp. Yeah. You know, and, and be yeah. inspiring. And I remember not wanting uh, on purpose, not wanting to take the episode in that direction. Uh, I was like, no, I, I wanted to be risque. I wanted to be fun. And you're right. Yeah. Like four years ago, yeah. I, I built it off of yeah. just being slutty and appropriate. I would. I would yeah. say that now, I don't know, it's like one out of every 10 episodes, <laughs> you know, that you yeah, go we a to, little, we have to, because yeah. you have to just like let off some steam. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. to have those fun. Oh, I get it. Um, yeah. I just sat back and I was like, well, what do you want God? And he uh -huh. was like, man, um, he said, there's something amazing that's about to happen, you know? And I was like, what? You know, I, I just, I said, okay. And I, okay. and I turned back on my, my phone. I was watching Netflix for lunch or whatever. Yeah. And then, um, my coach called me. He was like, "Man, I got a big some big news for you." I was like, "What?" He was like, "Man, you might get the fight on on TV." I was like, "What?" On TV. He was like, "Yeah, man, uh, uh, just stay posted." And I was like, "Man, that's crazy." Yeah. God just told me something was finna happen, you know. And man, I was like, happen. "All right." And then later on, he called me. He was like, "Man, you got the spot. You are gonna fight <gasps> on TV." Uh, oh. It it was supposed to be an upcoming prospect was, uh, in that's Austin. Cool. Yeah. yeah, but I was just drunk. And uh, <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, I'm cool." Like, wow. So. That that fight, you know, that whole time and everything was Such happening a good in kid. order. Like, oh yeah, right. He's amazing. God just told me you gonna win this fight okay. and we on tv and was he right was he right oh yeah he was right okay. man that was the last we, fight we, we have to see okay yeah that, you know it was the last that fight echo. the dude was good man oh, I, I, mean, I give him props that echo yeah i mean how can you be a king god you know what i'm saying how can you beat that yeah you're right god is pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> what a great <laughs> response! God is pretty cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Too, but they're different. <laughs> you see, like, so you got me drinking all this De Serono, Okay, stop. <laughs> but, but, De Serono. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were drinking. Do you know where his career is now? So Noni like, is he um, still fighting. Noni's a, Noni's not fighting. Okay. Um, I don't know if he's still training his son. Yeah. I know for a while he was training his son. Oh, that's cool. Noni is very much a family man. Mm -hmm. Very private. Um, and, and just side note, I have invited him and his wife on the show. Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. And um, th they're very, very power couple very mm. just about each other and raising yeah. their family. And that's all they're interested in. Amen. Um, and Nothing when we, wrong with that. When we talked about it, I proposed the idea for him. And he was down to come back on, which that's I was cool. so happy. Yeah. Um, but I, as far as boxing, I don't think... I think he's taken a step back from that um, and is more focused on his kids. I want to say his son might be the next protege. Like, oh, that, wow. that he might be the next Noni, if yeah, you will. That's cool. Yeah. So, that's really cool. I wonder what your thoughts are um, of the episode. Oh, the episode in, in, in general? totality, yeah. Well, I think the episode's fine. Um, yeah. I, I think you could do, you could, you could run circles around this guy right now, <laughs> you know, as far as interviewing and the way you host and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I think this is a great beginning, though. Sure, sure. You know, I mean, right. shit, we're, we're looking at nine episodes in, man. You're good. And I have no idea where that shirt's at. <laughs> I want to say I gave it to my best friend because he's a dad now. So he, well, yes. that, shirt, that shirt could hold two it's of the you. Sailboats now, for me. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, listen. And I love you know reaching back and yeah, to great. you guys uh, to Noni I, I still keep in touch with him uh, very sporadically him and his wife and big shout out to them and you know hopefully one day we'll have Noni and yeah. Precious back on I the show. would love that yes. yeah okay. great gosh you know um so for the next episode that I have ready to, to review, um, we mentioned them earlier, yeah. and they've been the longest running sponsor of the public yeah. affair, and yeah. of course it's my boys Sid yeah. and Marcus from Elite Barbershop. Right. Yes. Right. So that was, that was just the episode after this one. That Good. was episode Oh, 10. really? Yeah, that oh, was episode Oh, wow, I didn't 10. realize that. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a big deal bringing them in. Yeah, for um, sure. Because they, uh, I think like, it was like just, you say, longest running. Yes. And uh, they got a beautiful shop. Oh, way. yeah. So Sid, when when he came on the show, I've, everybody has to know, I've followed Sid since barber school. Okay. And so but it was barber, barber school. school. 
Um, oh God, it's not open. Someone anymore. here, I thirty five or something. Oh, it was somewhere I here. Can't, yeah, it was somewhere yeah. here. Okay, and so I followed him from there, and then he opened Elite Barbershop. Mm. And at the time, I think it was just him and Marcus. Really, it was just him and Marcus. I don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's tough to get started. And Marcus like that. is still there. Yeah, Marcus is still yeah. there, and he and Marcus I think, Guerrero, right? Marcus Guerrero. Yeah. And so I hear that name once a week. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so when I invited them on the show, I I think mine and Sid and he'll agree our our motive. Was to make Marcus uncomfortable. Oh, because I had a crush on Marcus, and this is before. Oh, see, I didn't realize. Oh, that. yeah, this is before I knew the wife and everything, and uh. so which, yeah, and so I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna make him, we're gonna we're gonna do him, and I wanted. <laughs> we're, to, gonna yeah, okay. do him. <laughs> we're gonna do him, and I wanted uh, to do him. Yeah, it was so great <laughs> for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking beer. Uh, yeah. 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 No, no, no more for you. I know. No more for you. Whatever. You still have that shirt. Remember, I told the whole story about what happened last year. You're Look right. at you with the with the camo <laughs> hat, yeah, the whole that's thing. Out him, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't no, tell oh God, y'all are drinking those big micheladas. Is that what you say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never talk shit. I only say the truth about people, and it hurts their fucking feelings. What do you want me to do? You know what I mean? So if I said something about you, it's probably the fucking black sheep, by the way. But we'd be in that barbershop acting fucking stupid. Yeah, definitely. You definitely love when when you go in there. Yeah. You know, Does Marcus love it? It's what? Uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, when you're going, Mar- like, hey, that's, that's, that's that's you're coming in. in. You know, you want to know what? He knew that I was going to make you uncomfortable the entire time. Uh, I, I, I told him, I was like, yeah. all right, now we're going to uh, hey, man, go get some questions. Andrew, yeah. Remember that one? Andrew, Remember that one time we're talking about barbecue and he was like, Oh yeah, I love links and me and him, me and, me and him, me and you were looking at each other I like. Uh, he, said, he said, "No, no, no." He said, "Uh, was it? I love, we were like, I love, uh, you I on your own." I on left sausage one. in my mouth. Yeah, and we're like, <laughs> we're like uh, because it's uh, fucking great. Like, <laughs> but you know why I fuck yo. with you so heavy is because yeah. y'all just go with it. Like, yeah, you know, man, oh, yeah, no, definitely. Man. Like, oh fuck him, he can't come back here. No, oh, no, nobody, and nobody else did that either. I will say, but but at the and you know also too you know big fucking drinks even that was fat boy Michel and Botana. I know. I mean, too. Yeah. I mean, um, just you being in there interacting <laughs> so with them, big. too. Uh, <laughs> you know, cracking jokes and stuff. Man, I mean, it's. Oh, yeah. um, I had cut somebody. Uh, what was it yesterday? The the guy said he met you at uh, the Georges at the bar. Him yeah. and his wife, yeah, uh, older old older white guy. Oh my God, Mar- Marcus? Hayden? Yeah, Hayden? Hayden? Yeah. 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 Oh my God, yeah. I forgot about them. Yeah, I, know. Know. <laughs> I do know them. Yeah. 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 Podcast. I said we're gonna be on tomorrow. He's like, yeah, it's a good, it's a good guy. I like him. Yeah, him and his yeah. wife are fucking crunk. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, so so Sid and Marcus. Yeah. Um, we had so much booze on this episode. Yeah, you did. So shout out to Fatboy Michelada Potana, Junior Banda, who who he gave us the um, the micheladas yeah. for this episode, yeah. which, and then they were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they came in by the bucket full too. Oh like yeah, they were, yeah. It was so much stuff. And, and shout out to him too because he's still doing his thing yeah. as well. Yeah, good he's for him. He's still going strong, good and th- there's no taking that guy down. It's honestly. Wonderful. And so uh, they we got the micheladas, and then we got the. Um, uh, fucking the, the Dos Equis. Yeah. Yes. And then I was drunk before this one too. So <laughs> you introduced me to a drink that I had never had. Okay. And that was the scotch and pineapple juice or whatever it was. What is that called? Oh my God. Was it, um, what the fuck was it? You know what I'm talking about. Was it? I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> who's your, who's your guy that, uh, the car guy? JB Auto Detailing. No, 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 no. no, no. The, 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 oh. worker, Yeah. The Wait. one you worked at the radio station with. Oh, uh, Kutis. Yeah. Oh, so he had, hey. yes, he had something similar. I think Kutis yes. has a has a hollow leg where he brings all that stuff in because, <laughs> damn. It's always a good time with him. Oh, yeah, Lord have sure. mercy. You yeah. know, um, I, I always love watching this episode back. Um, yeah. I did just a few weeks ago. Did and you? Yeah, because you know what it is like with Sid, too? Sid has come so far mm-hmm. in his career and has made such good rapport with every single person that he's come in contact That's with. That's cool. And, and he's truly built an elite team of barbers no pun like, intended yeah no, <laughs> well, no, no, no truly though because each of them have cut my hair yeah and um you know shout out to sam ceballos who's one of his newest barbers yeah. he yeah. cut my hair and i got laid afterwards so sam has the golden touch you know what i mean <laughs> and great. sam's cute too though you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. i would i would like yeah i understand what you would sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good yeah. no i i wonder uh, now mike there's no question about it we've had tons of barbers on the show <laughs> there for a while, I thought it was just going to be barbers was, and real estate agents. That was about it. Yeah, yeah. That was. That Were was, you getting sick of it? No, I mean yeah. I couldn't. You know, yeah, I yeah. mean you you make it interesting no matter what, and your guests for the most part. I mean, out of two hundred episodes, I mean, I can count on one hand how many kind of went south. Okay. That was that was about it. I you see, know, I, I mean, it was like four maybe oh, something yeah. like that. It most, wasn't that many. Most definitely. Yeah. Now 
we have had to re-record a couple of times. A few times. But that's, yeah. it, it's, you don't put out 200 episodes and not screw up every once in a while. Oh, yeah, you know, for sure. Well, is. and then we have, like, the, the technical issues, which oh, have been a while, the yeah. nightmare. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's get back yeah, to it. It happens. That, that yeah. probably back you at the I, I, I don't know what Let's get off these technical issues. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's focusing on me. Second Amendment so. rights. And they have guns. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I do, I'm looking for a head of security as well. Oh, uh, and I said on my last episode, this girl Chastity Standifer, she's going to be head of my oh, security. Yeah, she's, her. she's about five foot tall, but she's fucking ferocious. Ooh. And so, yeah. And I told Esther's anyway. <laughs> so, um, um, so was there any inspirations for you guys to become barber? Oh, no, 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 wait, the shoes. We got to talk about the shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, before we, before shoes. we continue, I have, to talk, I have to throw the shoes in there. So from what I understand... And I don't know how true this is, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay? From what I understand, she won the shoes. And yeah. this, is, this yeah. is another reason why I was telling you I hate shit like this. Yeah. Um, she won the shoes. Oh, they this, went to okay. what? The, this was that barber uh, thing, right? Yeah. Where they, they were like giving out free haircuts or they whatever? They had the free haircuts. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so I, from what I understand. Damn, it's amazing how much me, of this I retained. She was telling the kid, <laughs> pick the most expensive yeah. shoe because yeah. you get to have whatever shoe. And uh, then she went back to try to return it to get the cash. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I didn't hear that. I don't know. I heard was that it was. She was telling the the the, 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 little, the kid wanted a specific shoe. Right. Right. But the mom was telling her to uh, pick a more expensive shoes so that uh, she could go back later on, get the receipt, go back later right. on, and, and change exchange the shoes um, to you know. I mean, I, I don't know what she was gonna do with them, but I to mean, get the money, obviously. <laughs> yeah, get the money. But I mean, uh, Stupid, you know, exchange the shoes, get more. Can shoes we can shoes we more. acknowledge something? Yeah, Why I mean, this, is this is what I heard, but. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, I look at people like that's life, and whenever I feel like my life is a little bit on the shitter, I'm just like, oh, that's not as bad as that. <laughs> so I'm good. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. can we talk about how Sid's hair blends in? What, like, what, yeah. were we doing? what were we thinking with that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we had the black curtain. We were thinking, dear God, we got a shot. That's what we were thinking. <laughs> What do you? You know what? Yeah, I, he look is. at these close-up shots that we used to do. All you can see is his face. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, isn't man. it crazy? Like, yeah. you know, it's it's like any show that we do mm. here, though. Like, I mean, we could take this and just start picking it apart, but yeah. I I think the magic of this show is just the content. Yeah, you know? sure, sure. It's, it's you. I, people yes. love you. I, you know, well, thanks. I, I most think of people, them. yeah, most people <laughs> love me. Okay, you know, um, with, with, and then with this episode, with episode ten as well, yeah. um. We, 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 we just, we visit it so much. I get my haircut from every single week. Yeah. And yeah. you guys, we're going to have a, we're going to have an elite barbershop episode. Yeah. We're going to well, have We've it. talked about that. We've and talked I've, about it. I've been yeah. out there to scope it out and all that yeah, stuff. For yeah, for sure. We've talked about actually shooting one there. Yeah. yeah. And, and we're going to do it right. I just, yeah. when it comes That's to something cool. like that, I want it to do it justice. You I know what I mean? I don't yeah. want it to be no bullshit. Yeah. This and that. Yeah. You, you know what, Mike? I, I wonder, do you have a favorite episode of the public affair? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you. I think you know which one is my favorite one. I told oh, okay. you that we wanted to include that one in this one. Oh, okay. But the the issue. That, so there's a couple of things that go on with that episode, and let's 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 save that until we get okay, there. Okay, we'll but, save that. Yeah. Okay, well, how about this? Is there an episode that we recorded and you were like, oh my god? So <laughs> the one over on uh, Webster, okay. where I came in at the end of the episode. And the guy already had his shirt off. And oh, you're talking about Caesar. Yeah. And yeah. you were like, oh, my God, you just missed it. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> so shout out to C's Fit. All I see is a C's bunch C. of people with no shirts on and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was an OnlyFans model. I get it. And yeah. we, were, we were doing promotional photo shoot yeah. for the show. Yeah. <laughs> and we had to Where make Where are sure. those photos? And my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it was hard to post them on social uh, media because then you get flagged. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. I get it. Yeah, no. You just put a little bar over there. You necklace. mentioned stories mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. Uh, you know, before we continue and, we t and, you know, with the other episodes, what, mm -hmm. what are some of them that you want to share? So um, you've had quite the, the, the um, cavalcade of people come through here. <laughs> uh, and I, one of the things I want to say is that you treat them all the same. Oh, yeah. Which, that's that's a big deal because it's easy to get caught up in, well, I didn't really like that guy, I didn't really like that girl, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. it, that's not how you do a show like this. you got to treat everybody fairly, oh, yeah. and you got to listen to their story. Oh, yeah, for you sure. You know, I, I've never seen you, like, check out during an interview. Okay. And that's that's a, that's a testament to you. I mean, that's a <laughs> it, big deal. Well, it's It's hard. It's hard it because there, there's some people that are easy to record. And no shade on nobody. But <laughs> Believe me, I know. Yeah, people <laughs> people come on camera and they get yeah. shy. You know what I mean? And some people come in and they're naturals. And Absolutely. I tell people. And you think the ones that are going to be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. They're, they're, yeah. It's, it's hard. And yeah. I tell people all the time when I invite them on the public affair, you be yourself. Yeah. 
and let me create the content. You know what I mean? And all, uh, you know, I I tell everybody, if you pull wool over people's eyes, they're going to know right away. I was talking to somebody who was um, interested in starting a podcast. I think they reached out to you. And, you know, they they mentioned just briefly about, you know, oh, you know, we have this job and this job and we have to really watch what we say. The minute you start worrying about all that, you're you're going to fail. It's going to fail instantly. Unless you want to do like a, I I mean, I've had some people come to me and say, I want to do this podcast, but I want to do it anonymously. Okay. Great. Let's do that. But that's audio. That, yeah. You know, you better yeah. just do audio. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. I can bleep your name. I can bleep, you know, all the stuff. Oh, but yeah, definitely. boy, you start putting on video, I got to blur your face. And, the and there's thing. definitely things, you know, on the show that I've said that I regret. Yeah. I've definitely, like, one of the things that I never wanted it to be was, like, a, um, the cliche, just gossip, cheese man. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, oh, mm-hmm. let's talk shit about everybody. And there's things that I've said about people on this show and it got back to them. I get that. And I, I definitely, like, have a, had to apologize. Like, it, you know, well, you learn a lot in this business. For Andrew, sure. the, yeah. You know, you're you're looking at an hour to an hour and a half, two hundred times in a row. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're all human. We're gonna say things. I've got plenty of things I've sure, said that sure. I want to take back. Okay. You know, yeah. I've got two marriages I want to take back. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, it's it's you know, it, it's just gonna happen. You're human. Most it, definitely. it just happens. Yeah. Most definitely. But yeah. as long as you're as long, I guess the most important thing to that is is apologize and and mean it and move on. That's the other thing. That, well, mean absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, and I, I will tell you this. Um, you know. I talked about us being friends and stuff, and I really do think we are. Uh, yeah. You and my wife uh, and I have been out to dinner a few times and stuff, and it's always been such a good time. And um, she really thinks the utmost of you, oh, by the her. way. Yes. Yeah, she's, I love Susan. She loves you. Yes, yeah. I love it. Here's here's what happened in the – let's – let can we do this real quick? Okay, I yeah. I want to go through a quick timeline yeah, of things sure, that sure. have happened, okay. right? So we started uh, the place over on Franklin in 2019. Yeah. Um, we moved – to uh, Washington in 2020-ish, 21. Yeah, yeah. Something happened around that time. I don't know, something with masks. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> we we moved over to Washington. We had the giant ice storm. Yeah. Remember that thing? Yeah. I, I ended up driving from Hewitt back down to Waco and stealing lumber out of the place while oh, we were wow. still building it just yeah. so I could burn it in my fireplace yeah. to keep us alive. Um, and then, uh, like I say, over on Washington, that's where I had my big attack and had to go to the emergency room. Yeah, yeah. You broke your foot. I did. In the meantime. Yes, I did. And you came in in a cast and did your shows yes. and the whole thing, just like a trooper. Um, and so, and then I had a hip replaced. Oh, wow. I had my neck operated on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a lot to happen. Oh, my God. It's been so much. Yeah. yeah. And then we moved over to Webster, and that's where we kind of started really blossoming into what we are now. Yeah. Um, and, and most of it's because of you. We we built the video studio back there, and I think it was it was beautiful for you at the time. That, yeah. It was great for you at the time. Now, this is much more fitting for you because okay. your, your show is a little more upscale than it used to be. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I agree. And so we, <laughs> we moved in here. I moved... Three times in sure, three, sure. three years. Yeah. Always in July. Mm. Not sure why he hates me so much, but <laughs> always in July. And this is the place that will will make magic, and I, I, I will die in this building. Well, we will so. definitely see, for sure. Yeah. I, yeah. It's been great, though. It's I think great. it's been a great ride. Well, you know what, Mike? We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we're going to have more episodes to review. Yeah. Um, so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned on our intermission episode of The Public Affair. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this exciting episode of The Public Affair, my, my Bridge to Gap episode 199 up to the road to episode 200, our intermission episode. Now before we continue, I just need to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Bandas Hauling Service with Julian and Banda. They rent dump trailers, but you fill it up and they haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and they haul cars in and out of town. They're also offering dumpster services as well. So when you guys have those big giant parties and you guys need to roll off dumpster, hit up Bandas Hauling Service and they'll be there and they're absolutely 100% reliable. Those people will pull up no matter what. Look now at the number on the screen, Bandas Hauling Service. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the OCR Penguin Benitos with Funtown RV, the best in RV sales. and Penguins working overtime to make sure you and your family are situated and settled in the best RV suited for you. I'm talking about toy haulers, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and so much more. Se habla espanol. If you guys need to go camping in style this year and you guys need to make sure, because camping season's in right now and you guys don't want to be pulled up in the little last tent or whatever, make sure you guys hit up my boy Penguin to get the best deal in RVs. Follow Penguin's cool RV deals and tips on Facebook to Penguin. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the 
public affair. Of course, the Shaka Post Photography, my girl Myra Osadis, a digital photo booth business perfect for parties, private events, corporate events, and so much more. It's fun, it's convenient, and it's easy. She's also offering digital customized invitations and movement forms as well. I'm talking about e-vites, you guys. E-vites. Don't be sending out no physical invites. Oh, get with my girl Shaka Post Photography. Oh, also, uh, graduations around the corner. If you guys need some graduation photos, hit her up as well. Call the number on the screen and book now. And sports photos as well. Listen, any photography needs. Just hit up my girl Myra Osadis. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, the Brothers Roofing and Remodeling, my boy Jesus Sanchez from Mart, Texas, a small construction business from Mart, specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. Listen, protect your home from the crazy elements of the Texas weather with his high quality and affordable work. Make sure you guys follow him on Facebook and call that number on the screen of my boy Jesus Sanchez. Oh, and all remodeling as well, of course. You guys don't want to miss out on that. All right, so Brothers Roofing Remodeling, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, we're going to get right back into it. We're reviewing some old episodes of The Public Affair right before we get into episode 200. I've got my longtime producer here that, since the beginning, Mike Hamilton. Yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Do you ever think it was difficult to work with? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'd have to lie if I said never. Yeah. But, uh, uh, uh we got to take this as a whole, right? I sure. mean, and mm -hmm. so overall, no, I, I think yeah. you're, you're always very reasonable. It, it, again, it's one of the things where you understand the business. I, so yeah, that's, I that's a big part. I don't think it. people realize how much goes on behind the scenes. Oh God. Oh yeah. Behind the scenes. Like it, they, you know, they see the hour episode and you know, it's fun. Oh. This isn't that, but there's so much that we've had to deal <laughs> with. And you know what? I, they I can see all the extension cords oh, and yeah. all the crap. Yeah. I want to use this opportunity since we're talking about old episodes real quick. I have to give a shout out to Will London. Yeah. Who was on this show. Oh yeah. I um, that I, I'm going to say why I regret putting that episode out so much. No, I, I wish we would have um, never put that episode out. Is that the forehead? No, that's, uh, uh, that's CJ Collins. Oh, okay. Yeah. CJ Collins. We chopped his head off. I didn't like that. one. Will yeah. no, no, because like of him. the way it, no, oh, I like the him. camera angle. Yeah. It's because I, I started the camera so right here on his forehead. Will London was the guy who went to the Olympics. Oh, that's right. And we had the whole episode. Oh, the audio was the audio trash. Sucked. And with the thing was, you guys, I'm it sorry, was, Will. We, yeah, I, I don't feel like we did him justice. No, on there. And I, I would I, love to see that man come back. You know what? He said he would. And I, awesome. I, I've been keeping up with him on social media that's and he's really doing his thing. And I told, I told him, him this i think i told him this i said you know I, I wish i wish we would like would have just never did that yeah. i wish i yeah. at the time though because yeah. we were so obsessed with consistency yes. that i was just yes. like we, we got to put it out no matter yeah. what and, yeah. and i i hate i will never go back and watch that episode because i, I hate the way it sounded yeah like, i would have rather run a rerun at yeah. this point or and he, something and he you know? was great don't oh get, yeah. no it's he not was him phenomenal it was, it was just, all us yeah it was yeah it was that was washington <laughs> right wasn't that washington that was on washington yeah yeah, yeah. everything about it was terrible and yeah, i told him that and you know i hope to get will london back on the show yeah. Okay, so while we're talking about rough stuff, yeah. let's talk about that one we did with No Door. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that was Splash. Love Splash. Right? I love Splash. Uh, yeah. We did that episode before the studio was even actually built. Yeah, for sure. Like, it had no door. Yeah. And uh, he brought 19 people with him <laughs> and his dog. Yeah. And they all wanted to sit through the episode. Yes. <laughs> and we were at a time when you and I both were like, okay, come on. Yeah. And now we'd be like, ah, I'm sorry, it's four. Yeah. Uh, well, except for you and when you do a room full of guys in there. <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, I, it was crazy because I would have to move the door to come into you yeah. and then move it back and try to try to muffle the sound. Yeah, it was it was wild. And you know what, too? Well, and well we just uh, just real quick shout out to him because I still yeah. keep in touch with him very sporadically as well. And I will say. Um, will? Um, well, Will and um, Splash. Oh, yeah, Splash. Splash yeah. was still one Last of Last time I saw Splash, he was in a pool. That's okay, all yeah. I know. He's yeah. the, but he's honestly like the the social media persona. Yeah. And then the person I, that you meet. It's two different people. It's two different yeah, people. And it. he's such, he's the nicest person. Well, and, he yeah. came and did um, mm -hmm. a show over on Washington. You remember oh, that? okay. Yes. After he came back. Yes, and he, he did. did a, he, did a, he did a hip hop show. Yeah, perfect, it was cool. Perfect. All right. So, Mike, now we're going to get into an okay. episode that it's actually the highest viewed episode of it The is. Public Affair. Gee, I, I wonder why. I, you, you know what? Yeah. I love the, I love her. Yes. And of course, we're talking about OnlyFans model uh, Isabel Garcia. Yeah. Now, I, I have to say, when I invited her on this show, I remember somebody telling me because OnlyFans was just kind of like getting, right. it was like kind of getting out there. I didn't, I don't know. Yeah. And so uh, they I'm going like, to tell you, I still don't know what it is. So okay. There you okay. Go. Yeah. There you go. In case well, my wife. I've had several. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. So people, um, I had some people telling me, oh, you yeah, know, there's a girl in Waco who does OnlyFans. I did not know that. I didn't know that either yeah. until they told me. And I found her and I remember messaging her. I think it was like, like it was months prior to her agreeing to come on yeah. and and I said hey I have this podcast I'd love to talk to you about your career and she she ended up messaging me back on a friendsgiving oh. and said sure that sounds fun yeah and and she was honestly like 
the nicest person I've ever met. She, uh, the the one picture I will always remember of uh-huh. her is when she was dressed up like a turkey. Okay. <laughs> on her on her Instagram, yeah. it was like for you know, it was advertising her OnlyFans, sure, and sure. it was about Thanksgiving. But when you brought up thing, uh, Friendsgiving, I was like, oh yeah, I saw yeah. her dressed as. A yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, listen, why don't we take a quick look? Yeah, at let's real do quick. it. Yeah. OnlyFans or. Um. Honestly, I'm. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't really uh, like <laughs> talking about haters. Yeah, I guess like people like. Like, ooh, why are you doing that? Like, Look, you have you a lot of messages, Pokemon of, messages of people, <laughs> like, messaging you. Like, what the fuck's your problem? Like, why are you doing no, that? No, maybe behind closed doors. But okay. no one really, like, messages me, like, yeah. did, did like you... that. Like, saying things like that. Okay, so you haven't you haven't faced any public scrutiny or anything for it? Well, actually, a little bit. Okay. Actually, yeah, I, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> so no. Think about that. Can you yeah. talk to us a little bit about, like, the first time you dealt with that? Like, was it hard for you, or? It actually, no. You just it didn't is, care. It, <laughs> see, that's, I forget. It just doesn't face me. It really don't. Like, People, I guess I'm really that nice. Like, okay. you can say whatever to me, and I'm just like, okay. But that's what I'm saying. Like, she really, you really are a nice girl. Like, yeah. even just sitting here talking to you and meeting you, like, despite what you, like, here's the thing. I, I personally don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, good for you, girl. You know what I mean? Some people are just quick to judge. Do you, is it just one ear and not the other for you? Like, you just don't care? Pretty or? much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you, that's what I appreciate about her. That is the one thing you can take away from that. Yeah. That she... She does not pay attention to what people think. She, she doesn't. And, 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 and in yeah. a good way. Not no. like, screw you, I'm I, doing whatever. I, I think, no, I think in, in either way, because she does, there's a lot of people, I, I've been around people that have said, like, not nice things about sure. her. Yep. And, you know, um, I, I always say, you know, no matter what she does, um, while, while it is controversial, her career, yeah. that's what she chose to do. Let, like, let her do her. You know what I mean? Like, so I had no idea who she was. Uh-huh. And uh, like you say, this is 2020, probably? Yeah, 2021 yeah. at the at the latest? Yeah. Um, it was episode 26. We didn't know what the hell OnlyFans was at <laughs> yeah, the time. Sure. You know, it was a brand new thing. In the it, Since then and now, mm-hmm. I've met so many people who know her. Okay. Um, and what I didn't realize is my two stepsons worked at a restaurant with her. Oh, there you go. I See? had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and I always have to say that though, like I, I, yep. I didn't know what to expect when interviewing Isabel. And then when I interviewed her and I got to talk to her personally, she was just she was sweet though. Yeah, she's like very she wasn't sweet. a stuck very up bitch. She wasn't sweet a, person. She was no. very sweet. I even ran into her at the grocery store and she said she wanted to come do the show again. She does not come across as stuck up at yeah, all. For no, sure. She's very sweet. Now <laughs> so, we did have yeah. we did have one thing happen. Yeah, okay. So there was a little We did have to cut it out. We did have to cut it out. <laughs> yeah. She she did have one of the girls came out. It and did. I thought, you know what we should have did? We should. Uh, no. Well, no, I don't. Well, she probably wouldn't have cared, but we should have put like a. You wanted a, to put image. your face over. Uh, um, is yeah, what you we should have did that. And that would have been hilarious. That would have been yeah. funny. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was still pretty skittish at this yeah. point, and I was like, mm, Oh yeah, you get rid of that nipple. Definitely so, down. Yeah. yeah um, so you're not really worried about facing public scrutiny or anything like that. No. So, like, what is your opinion about people that think less of you for doing this? I mean, it's just it, it's either they're insecure about something. Okay. I don't know. I just feel like it's something wrong with themselves right. to like hate me so hard because I honestly mind my own business yeah. to like you know <laughs> yeah. I don't really worry she does. about she people does. like hating on me or anything right. like that and at the end of the day you're still a mother exactly you that's know? that's yeah. my main oh, focus yeah, just like okay. my household my right. family oh, yeah. we're, we're, and you're making so, money so, so does um, um, business not that your son knows what you do mm-hmm. but like would you be open to talking to him about it when he gets older or? I mean because surely he's not just right there like oh mom cool like, you know what I mean? like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean my, yeah pretty it's much I mean he knows but he knows that I take pictures okay. for money, you know, because yeah, yeah. he knows that I'm really pretty. <laughs> right. And so he just thinks, like, you know. almost there yeah. as you're watching this. Money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to well, say, I mean, too, you know, I, I, let me let me talk about her yeah. as a mother yeah. um, in the most respectful manner. I met her son. Oh, really? By fluke. Um, yeah. I was at Soko. Oh. And he was with his friends. And yeah. I think they were all working out at the boxing gym, Montezuma Boxing. Oh, okay. And um, they all ran up to me like I was fucking Hannah Montana. <laughs> and, and you know, he, he kind of just told me, he goes, my mom is Isabel. Yeah. Who was on your show. Yeah. And um, I remember. So they, he has watched it. Um, oh, that, I don't know. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But um, the kids took a photo with me. Yeah. And I remember messaging her and I asked her, I said, hey, can I have that photo? I just want to like post it and say, right. look, these kids, like, right. you know, because I didn't know that kids were watching the show. That's kind of part of the reason why I right. changed sure. how I do the show. But yeah. anyway, I will say, she goes, I, I don't feel comfortable with images of my son being her. shared. No, she did. Good for she her. said, I, I would rather not, you know, I, I she's yeah. very, very private with her son. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, she's a mother too. Yeah. And while she does what she does, you can't take away the fact that she, you know, she's still loving, she's still nurturing. You know what I mean? You know, here's the deal, yeah. man. Everybody's got to earn a living. 
and she is taking advantage of what she can while she can. Yeah. Because it, it, time comes for all of us, you oh, know, yeah. and it won't always be a thing. Yeah, sure, sure. I always thought you should go on and just do feet picks. To be only... Yeah. <laughs> really? Do you think Ank- I make a lot of money? Ankles and feet. That's all you need to do, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. wonder... Um, you just set your little Pokemon guys right what, by your ankles yeah, and feet. for sure. One thing I hate about this episode, I yeah. will say, I yeah. it was 34 minutes. I talked too much. And when I... I, I don't like re-watching it because... Yeah. I feel like um, you while get she, uncomfortable because you feel like you stepped over. Uh, yeah, or yeah, and I know I got a lot. Yeah. I got a lot of scrutiny behind that. And, well, and I, when I watch it back, I'm like, oh yeah, this, this, I, this. For I sure. will tell you this: she she was a little nervous. She she was. Yeah, so some of her funny. answers were a little short and yeah. stuff. And so I th- I think you as a radio guy felt like you had to make up that air. Sure, you sure. know, make up for those. I answers. just I think now if she came back, I, I, oh. Isabel, you know, you're coming back. Please but um, I I would definitely think she'd be a little bit more comfortable. And you yeah. know, I, it was different yeah. for her. You you know, oh, absolutely. Not like it was different for all of us. Yeah, yeah we didn't know what sure. to expect. But that's the only thing I don't like about watching this is like, Andrew, I, I wish I could slap myself. <laughs> and then the shirt, I was losing weight at that time. And so uh, the, the shirt. You weren't you weren't super serious about it yet. No, though. not yet, though. I was just starting. All right, let's uh, talk Let's talk about that okay. just for a second. Okay. Paper towels. Oh, yeah. What do you think of when I say paper towels? <laughs> um, episode eight with um, <laughs> Armando Vitoral. Yeah. And. There was always a roll of yeah. paper towels. For me I had to I keep one handy, and I would sweating. run it into you. Yeah. Yes, I was always yeah. flop sweating on the show. It was crazy. It was you, so crazy. You take such better care of yourself now uh, I try. than you ever did. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's admirable. Well, I have to. I, I've you and it. I both have seen each other yeah. at our lowest. I think oh, <laughs> you know, oh, or absolutely. close. Yeah, I did a lot. I think I did the first. I want to say almost fifteen episodes of the show, John. Yeah. Yeah, I don't just about yeah. just about. I wanted like just, nerves. I would go to brunch and I'd yeah. come in and we uh, we would record like. <laughs> I remember, you used to come in and say, "Yeah, I've been to King's Landing." I, oh yeah, I oh, those we used to, oh yeah, yeah we used to yeah. get <laughs> fucked up were. at King's Landing. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I, I appreciate this episode for what it was. Yeah, and um, I I love her. I yeah, do love her. Great. I think she's, she's so great. kind. I, and I wish Isabel, her well. uh, you know, yeah. listen, listen to to Andrew talking about you coming back. We would love to have you. Oh yeah, you know, come on up here to the. And I, I will say Let's this to it. anybody that might have a misconception about her. Oh. Really get to know, like she's she's truly kind. That's she's it, so right kind. there. Yeah. Get to know her. Just get That's to know it. her. Like when I got to sit down and talk to her, I was like, she's so fucking. sweet. I am so tired of love people her. making assumptions about sure. people without ever meeting them and talking yeah. to them. And I was bullshit. Oh yeah, for sure. And I was so excited when she agreed to come on like yeah. i was so i yeah. remember again. oh yeah i remember yeah, yeah it was I a big remember. deal i was so excited we and talked about it for like two weeks before it happened we didn't know that it would get this no. i didn't know it would get be the biggest episode that we put no. out i did not know um we especially no because for what it was i mean it was mainly me talking and then her just yeah you know, sure okay. yeah sure so, so yeah but anyway okay so you know what um, it would be super interesting to see what's happened in the last three four years Oh yeah, you know, I, I just with her, her family. Well, I keep up with thing. her on social media. Again, yeah. I met her son. Son was very kind. Uh, She's still I, doing I, I the just, same thing. Um, I believe so. Okay. And um, cool. I, I will say, I just when she told me, I, I would rather you not share the image on yeah, social media. That's a big deal. That made me. I, I like not that I didn't look at her in a lesser no, way, but it's a new but level was, of respect. I was just like, I got you, girl. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. you know, she that's her privacy. Yeah. No, good for her. And that's what great. she should, yeah. So yeah, and you have to be guarded if you're going to do that. Oh yeah. I mean, That's I, I what, can't like, even imagine. Yeah, I feel like a stupid person would do the opposite. Oh, absolutely. Would be like, I don't give a fuck. Well, but she was just like, that, we live that's, around a lot that's of my people, son. So oh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah, see yeah. that happening. So big, big shout out to her. Yeah. So, you know, Especially the, in this country that's so divided oh, yeah, at this mo- point. Most that definitely. sucks. Most yeah. definitely. You know, the next episode that I wanted to get into um, um, was actually episode 148. It's okay. not It's not too okay. old. Yeah. But uh, I want to say we recorded it a year or two ago. This that is when we were on Webster. Webster. We were on Webster. So this is featuring Hacia Torino. Oh, yeah. And so this is the guy who um, we took a little bit more of a faith-based direction on this episode. I remember that, yeah. What were your thoughts when I said, like, I, I'm going to do something like that? So um, <laughs> I, I respect that. It, I think I said this at the beginning. Yeah. I, I, you treat everyone the same. And um, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's faith-based or if it's not. You know, I mean, literally, we're going from OnlyFans to faith-based here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, I... I thought it was a good episode. I thought I enjoyed I, it. Can I just say that this episode with Hacia Trevino is one of my top five? Well, the other one thing, of my favorites. The other 100%. thing we need to mention about him uh-huh. is he is not like a. I'm going to pound you with my religion. <laughs> Oh, that's what I liked yes. about him. Yes, so absolutely. The thing was, too, he's just accepting. When I wanted to do an episode, because I feel like episode 148 with Hacia Trevino was the almost 
the pivotal moment of I'm going to start taking this in a different direction. Yeah, and it's that. time it's time to tone it down. Now, we had episodes in between, obviously, that were not toned down. Sure. But, you sure. know, we I was like, I want to start, like... You know what I mean? Toning it down just a you little had, bit. And so part of the reason why. Candles. And oh, yeah. yeah. Part of the reason why we had, I decided him and not just like your general <laughs> pastor. Yeah. Was because I knew he wasn't going to be extra with it. He's like truly, him and his family. I want to give a shout out to his brothers, Abu and George. Yeah. The kindest people I've ever met. Really? In my entire life. Yeah. His, his cousins are Misa and Denise. That's the awesome. kindest people I've ever met yeah. in my entire life. I've met his parents. Kindest people I remember. And so I, I love, this is actually one of my top five favorite episodes. I think in yeah. totality, like as far as faith-based stuff, you've had him, Pastor G. Is, uh-huh. there, an, is there anybody else? Um, I would say we had Homer and Angelo, but I wouldn't oh, say that right. that was more faith-based. Homer was just out of prison. Yeah, yeah. And then we had Adrian a couple of times, but oh, it, that right. wasn't really faith-based, yeah. faith-based either. I mean, if you're going straight up faith-based, those are really the only two. I want to say, but I think as far as trumping it, Hasiel took it. Like oh, if, yeah. If I say oh, yeah. if Absolutely. I say I have a faith based episode of the Public Affair, it's with Hasiel Trevino. Yeah, he sure. did a great job. Yeah, let's watch yeah. some of it. Sex until marriage. Got gotcha. you. Like that's that's my thing. Has I'm, it always I been s- like that since you've been saved, or were you? I mean, you've had sex before, but now it's just different. Yes, uh, it's yeah. always been like that, and that's oh. something that uh, like my parents instilled into us. Oh, that, okay. You know, I sex see. sex with uh, before marriage is a no go. I see. So yeah. uh, this is, is this personal? Are you still a virgin? Then? Yes. Well, I mean, would you consider like being addicted to, to porn and all no, that? no? I'm talking about so you've never been with like a woman. No, I've never been with a woman. I commend. <laughs> <laughs> it's that big pause. I'm not joking. I'm mean, like dead serious. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't even kissed a woman. I haven't had a girlfriend. Oh boy, I didn't remember that. How? I, how? Like. But <laughs> like, like I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm please, a yeah, break it down. No, I'm, I need, I, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I love, and first of all, no, I do have a lot of respect. I really do. That's amazing yeah, that you, sure. cause we're men. We want to do it all the time. No, yeah, and yeah. so <laughs> I just know you are just about to burst at the seams. But, <laughs> no, I know. No, I'm sorry. It's uh, true. We're disgusting. Okay. Well, yeah. I have to say too, when he shared that, that was like not so. I when I write the show, I don't write like a script. Yeah, sure. I just have bullet points bullet of points, what yeah. I want to talk yeah. about. Mm-hmm. This was not one of the bullet points. Well, you can yeah. tell. Yeah, your reaction I, to that. You I can had because yeah. here's the thing, and no gay shit. Hasiel is very well put together. He is. He. I've seen him. Very he played so. on the thirty over league that my oh, best friend he? was playing. Yeah, that's oh, how okay. I like started interacting with okay. him because my best All friend right. Mara was on there. Yeah, and so um, I watched him play soccer. I watched him fight on the soccer field. I watched him take his shirt off on the soccer field. I was like. Yeah. Oh, surely he's getting yeah. girls out the yeah. rip. You know what yeah, I mean? You would think so. And when he shared that, I, I was just so flabbergasted because we're the same age. You too. know who I want to commend is his parents. Oh, yeah. I mean, his for, pa- like, for yeah. being able to, and I don't know if it's fear or if it's just belief. Yeah. But for, I, how old do you think he was here? Um, We were we were roughly the same age. Yeah. Um, So I, I was 31, maybe 30 or 31. He was, you yeah. think he was 30? Is he the same age as me, or he might be he's a little bit younger? He's got to be like maybe he's twenty eight, twenty six. Okay, something like that. he's not much younger but than still, I am. If nothing else. Yeah. That is a long drought, my friend. Yeah, yeah. and so, but no, but that's what I'm saying. And and I, I guess if you've never had it, it's never a drought. But yeah, I don't know. But, and part of the reason, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was I was just flabbergasted because again, you know, yeah. he's very he's very he's strikingly handsome, yeah, he and so yeah. you know, I just like surely you're you're just ripping them out. This yeah, a I don't guy know. a guy that was so polite. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And you know what? He invited me to his church, and I went to his church really? the day before the episode came oh. out in Round Rock. Wow. Yeah, and then he took me out for brunch, and that's what... Here's the thing with You're Hasio. a sucker for brunch. Oh, I love it. Here's the, here's <laughs> the thing with Hasio that I really, really appreciated. Hasio had no agenda. That's right. There was yeah. no, like, I that's have to portray correct. myself as something. My family's going to be disappointed for coming on the public affair. No, nothing. No. I know that he had said that there, there were people questioning our friendship in this and that. Yeah. He is as real as they come. I have nothing but the utmost respect for Jaciel Trevino. I love that guy. I so, think he's so phenomenal. Andrew, yeah. I, I grew up in the Baptist church. Okay. Okay. And so it, you and I should not be friends. Yeah, sure. If I go by my upbringing. Yeah. And um, I, I can't imagine going through life and not knowing uh, somebody like you that <laughs> you 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 open my eyes to different things. I, I, I do want to say I got kicked out of the Baptist church sure, a couple sure. of times, but still, I, I understand where he's coming from oh, yeah. with all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And there are still a lot of factions that don't accept people of different creeds and oh, yeah, even sure. colors and religions and things like that. Yeah. And man, I, I got to tell you, you know, I, I didn't know Jesus personally. I mean, <laughs> I know I'm old enough to, but 
Um, I don't think he would like that. No, nah, yeah, I, you know, yeah, I don't. I don't you really used get to too say, on that. Yeah. you used to say something about God, uh-huh. and you were talking about like when you die and you get to the gates. I would say you guys are going to have a good talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. We're Isn't that what you said? We just have to have a talk. Yeah. And well, because I shared on the show that I had slept with somebody that was a pastor. Yeah. But it was an yeah. accident because I didn't know he was a pastor. Yeah. So. I can't imagine walking through life and being mad at everybody. Oh, yeah. That sucks. No, definitely. That sucks. <laughs> but no, okay. I go ahead. I need some more wine for this. <laughs> no, yeah. So, bro, choice. like, I guess you could say I'm a very romantic guy. Like, I'm a, yes. I'm a one woman guy. So, oh, you like, know your I, DM's going to be lit when <laughs> this comes out, right? I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> and good for you. Yes. Kind so, a um, tree behind your head. like, like I, I, I want to oh. save myself for that, for that one woman that, Absolutely. That, that God has for me. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, uh, you know, I've, I've talked to girls. I mean, obviously oh, I've talked to sure. a couple of girls yeah. here and there. <laughs> you go date? Honestly, or? I've never been on a date. Oh, it's annoying. Don't I, do it. I, I, and for the side note, I send after that. So, <laughs> well, right. okay. You know, um, yeah. The other thing here is you have changed a little bit too. Okay. Like before this started today, yeah. you were all about, I'm going to this noodle place afterwards. Okay. <laughs> you weren't worried about any of that stuff other than just getting some good supper and going home. I, that was that all was you it. wanted to do. Yeah. I feel like it's always kind yeah. of been like that. It like, has to yeah. a certain extent. We, yeah. It was always work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like, you, let's, you've always let's, come in and done the do work. Let's do what we got to yeah. do. And, and then, you like know. Like I said, I've on. never seen you sleepwalk through an episode. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. But big shout out to Hasio Trevino. Um, still keep in touch with him. Good guy. I still keep in touch with him. Welcome One of the best here people anytime. I know. Yes, anytime. absolutely. I, I love that guy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you know what? We got one more episode in us. You awesome. got one more episode in you? Awesome. Okay. I got it in me. Listen, and I, I just, we have to throw this one no in No matter how I look, I got it in me. Yes. We have to, we have to throw this one in there because I'm with his child right now. Which is a legend. Okay, I don't. I, that is, okay, <laughs> and I want to give a huge shout out to David and Daniel Sanchez. You'll just have to share with me after after this how remember, that works. Did you? But, re- yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, ask Daniel how it works. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. were you here? Did you record this one um, with David and Daniel? I will have to see <laughs> okay. their faces. Yeah, I, so, I, I, yeah, I immediately. I can yeah. tell you, I hate the plug showing, and I, I hate, hate the, the I hate the lighting. What oh, were we doing? Lighting sucks. What were we doing with the lighting? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I was yeah, there for that. yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we we invited David and Daniel on the show. I invited oh, that David. shit on the shelves. I, so I wanted. I think I was just gonna invite David, who's the one yeah. on the left, because he yeah. has um, cool dreams. Right. Okay, oh yeah, that's H-back right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I thought okay. he did work at that uh, yes, on he Washington. Did. Yes, he did. Yeah. And so then I thought, wait, well, we have to have Daniel because Daniel's a riot, right? And they're brothers. Yeah. And so I'm always saying like Daniel's one of the very very few people that lets me say i want to sleep with him yeah because i do and yeah. so and right uh, on the right on the right yes yeah. okay. and it was funny doing this episode because he's i remember staring you down look yeah because well, uh, hello look at look at that he wants me <laughs> <laughs> he's like i'm gonna get some of that uh, one day and, and he hasn't yeah, well yes he has because i'm pregnant okay. but uh gotcha. david i remember we were making him so uncomfortable mm-hmm. uh, but here but let's just watch something i do remember that do you remember yeah. that yeah. okay yeah. It's yeah. done no oh, commissary wow. mo- no commissary money so that's it. That's it. All that shit's taken away. How many oh, times wow. did I wear that fucking okay. shirt so on you this get show? Out and, <laughs> and you try to fight for it. That wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. We've watched I don't even two have now. That then. Shirt yeah. No more. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm glad that you're okay now. Oh yeah. And you know, I, um, you, you when know, I went you, back my second time, uh-huh. that kind of opened my eyes. Being in that yeah. medium cussing, I'm not gonna lie. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. A, You know, like I say, you know, especially after to say, hey man, uh, we just came off lockdown from a riot. Okay. You know, it was like, oh okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, for sure. But man, you meet all. Man, you got, yeah. <laughs> I got some pretty guys in there. I, I don't like pretty guys. I like pretty guys. guys. <laughs> you know, here's the other thing I'll say. Uh-huh. Um, we've had all walks of life oh, yeah. come through these doors, right? All, all four places. And I got to tell you, some of the guys that tell the story about going through jail and things like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're some of the nicest folks in the world. And, it, yeah. and it's, it's like... <sighs> I just want people to give them a chance to oh, do yeah, normal life. They've paid their debt. Yeah, you know? I, mean, I agree. Anyway. Yeah, yeah it's most definitely. Rugged, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm the pretty guy. You know what I mean? Man, they had one of the, uh, they called him Molly Cyrus. I'm about to walk out. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> we should call this episode I'm about to walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus? No. I really thought I'm he was about to walk out. Oh, yeah. I really thought he was about to walk out. I think he thought he was about to walk out. Yeah. No, yeah, you can call them gay No, the gay dudes, they get out there and they fix their They take care of themselves. There's twinks. Yeah, they're femmes. They're probably twinks. They'll wash their clothes. I like how he puts air quotes around it. Is that what they call them? Yeah, it's okay. You can say it. 
Yeah, I but think it's, it's a good call. Yeah, that's hilarious. But it's but it's I mean it's it's mm. it's cool. You know you got but, you but do we have yourself. do we have the men that I'm gonna be like? Where's my kingpin? You yeah. know what I mean? I don't want the girls. Like I don't want the makeup. Where's the squirrel master? Yeah, yeah. Where's okay? Where you walk in or they're gonna get you. They're gonna say. Nasty Nate. No, you gonna know Squirrel Master or Nasty Nate? <laughs> squirrel ma- What does that mean? Squirrel Man, Master. You, you ain't never seen the half bait? No. Oh, uh, yes, I have. Okay. okay. Squirrel, <laughs> a long time like ago. That. Yeah. And he's like, I'm with the Squirrel Master. Oh, okay. <laughs> nasty Nate. <laughs> I'm somebody's I bitch. I don't remember that part. I do remember that movie, though. So that's going to be, be your option when Listen, you go Listen, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to be like, look, where is the top dog? I don't want the, the girls. <laughs> I want I want this. There's going to be no girls in there. What's your name? Miley Cyrus. I'm gonna tell you the one that's gonna try to get you the first is gonna be the guys from Mexico. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. You. Yeah, that's, that's my time. Because there ain't any people that come in like that. Yeah. Oh, you have oh, been really? consistent with oh, your I'm type. So, oh, the oh yeah. Not girls, they're guys. Yeah, guys. Like, yeah, guys, I, guys, like, guys. Never, never lost. Yeah. No. Yeah, for sure. You, <laughs> who, who is it you said you were always looking for? Construction workers? Yeah, that, yeah. and then guys with no paper. No guys with no papers. <laughs> what you yeah. always said, yeah. I, I wonder, you know, this episode was, I have to say, we booked this one kind of last minute. I remember yeah. one of the things I, I always hated about doing this was cancellations. Or like oh, when people yeah, have yeah. to reschedule, Ooh. and especially when it's at the last minute. And so I personally feel I've like. I've seen you go through that. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 uh, we just pull yeah. people out of rest. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, this was one of the ones where I was like, what are you guys doing tomorrow? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, yeah, um, yeah I, I love, I wonder what, what your thoughts are for David and Daniel. Um, I love the duo of those two yeah. because one is so giving and the other one's like recoiling at everything yeah. you guys are saying. Oh, yeah, for you sure. Know? Um, but they were so nice guys. Yeah, they were such, such nice guys. Such great people. And yeah. I still keep in touch with I, Daniel. I, yeah. I guess I didn't realize it was last minute. And that, that, oh, makes, yeah, me, was, that makes me like them even more. It was so, yeah, it was yeah. so <laughs> last minute. I speak like that. Wow, really? Just like that. Daniel. That's the I've never been to prison. I don't know nothing about nothing. You've so you haven't. You, you've never been to prison, David. Man, I've been to Highway Six. Highway Six. <laughs> that, that one doesn't count, right? Like it's, <laughs> yeah. It does count. Yeah. No, but, okay. but in there's Highway Six, and that's you, you, it. You know what? I'm acting like a hard ass, though, right? But I swear to God, the minute they, I get pulled over, I start crying. Like, <laughs> I, like I just get scared. Let like, me I don't take want to you in the woods, officer. Yeah, I already went. But I already went to the woods in Mexico. Oh, and yeah. I got banned. So you know, what I mean? maybe one of their bad like, You know, that's that's one of the things that you used to. Boy, you would go out of your way to find exactly what people want. Oh yeah. The show. Oh yeah. Now they Ooh. now the best part is people are bringing people me bring stuff. stuff. Yeah. And I I think yeah. it's so great so i don't have to like You've very gotten... sporadic do i have to say what do you need me to bring you so that's that's pretty that's all the episodes that's that we have yeah. now yeah. um you know mike it's going on four years we're going yeah. on episode 200 obviously your favorite was isabel um I, it's <laughs> only my favorite because there were so many so many uh views yeah you know i mean that's other than that i i w- i can probably think of uh, like i said before maybe four episodes sure, sure. that i didn't enjoy doing yeah you know, but that's just that's the that's the luck of the draw. That's the know? luck of the you draw. Just get yeah, it, for you, sure. Get it, you don't get it. Yeah. Well, you know, I just want to use this opportunity again. You and I have been partnered since the very, very I mean, yep. like since episode zero. Yep. And, yeah, and, uh, which yeah is, I remember when we used to do episode zeros. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and so I, rem- you know, we've been in it since the beginning. I've had the best working relationship with you. I appreciate. And that. and I think that we are just in a an understanding level. We are. I don't know that I would still be doing this if you weren't involved either. I appreciate it. You know that, what I mean? Andrew. Yeah. Same there, here. There, there, there's Honestly. more there's more to this show than just me behind the mic. There's yeah. people behind the scenes. And Rogue Media Network and the people that were involved like you, um, we while while you're yeah. saying that, I want to say thank sure. you to Allison Robles. Oh yeah, yeah. She was she did she a was lot. A huge Absolutely. part of this. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. She she moved on and she's doing a lot of photography and stuff like yes. that now. And I, I wish her nothing but but the best luck. Yes. No, yeah, I definitely she was, was gonna give her her flowers and you she know was she, always here. Yeah, it was it was it was just like us three for a whole minute. That's it. I feel like we were like the you fucking Powerpuff Girls. We had, <laughs> we had uh, 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 a revolving door as far as the other people go. Yeah. <laughs> and we've been through some good ones and some bad ones, uh, but yeah. uh, <laughs> you know it's just the way it is. There were right? definitely people who I told you they cannot I touch get the show anymore, and I know why. Yeah, um, but it, it, you know, we've got a really great team now, sure. and and I count you as part of that team. Honestly, thank you. We've been up and down and in and out and all kinds of stuff with this show, but uh, the one thing that remains constant is people enjoy being on the show. They yeah. enjoy being around you, and uh, it's it's amazing to see people clam up that are so boisterous when they come through the door <laughs> and then they get in here and you start interviewing and they're like, yep. Huh? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they want to make some nervous. You've done a great you, job. I, thank you, Mike. No, yeah. I truly appreciate it. Before we go, the show has, 
it was controversial for a whole minute. Sure. And maybe it still arguably is. Um, I wonder, was there ever anything that I had said on the show and you were just like, oh my God, I don't know if we can release this. <laughs> okay, so there's, um, it wasn't your show. Oh, okay. It was a different show. Okay. And you went on and then that episode never came out. Who was that? Uh, you know which one. Corey? Yeah. Five Star Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> one star everyone or yeah, whatever sure. it's called yeah yeah um and that was just that was more about it wasn't necessarily about Corey. it was about yeah. just i don't know it, i think he has know, a lot of pressure on him as far as people yeah go. i yeah. think and i, and I was sure that, so some people watched it um yeah it was out for like two days um i did do another podcast uh with the owner yeah, Corey, and he he took it and down, by the so, way let me give let me give Corey dickman his due here mm -hmm. he um uh, I chased him down for a long time. Yeah. Finally met him, talked him into doing this crazy thing. And uh, without him, none of this stuff would happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, so sure. I appreciate Corey. Yeah. I count him as and, a great and friend. So, and, and shout out to the One Star Rewind. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's coming back. Yeah. It'll come back. You know, and I, I will say, too. Your episode goes on the director's cut. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I um go, Looking back at it now, for what it was, because it was so risque, and yeah. that's what that's what he wanted. Yeah, he did. You know, yeah. he did. He wanted edgy, so I provided it. I know. But I will say he's not the only, and I understand why. Now sure. I understand sure. why he took it down because back I if I had to go back to look at that Andrew, I would smack him in the face. Like, what the fuck were you doing? Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Got you. <laughs> but as far as as far as your show, yeah. no, I have never been embarrassed by your show. Sweet. I have always thought um, you know what you're doing. And I got I got a little secret. Okay. And that is the guy you see here in front of the camera is not necessarily the same guy you see behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And you and I have had lots of long talks about all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's not always salacious, and it's not always oh, yeah. this and that. You know, it's just, again, like I say, I can't choose a friend, and I, I really appreciate that. And we never would have met without this. I, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. And, yeah, yeah I, I feel the same way about you. And Good. I'm very well, grateful. I appreciate that. Very, very grateful that you've been a part of this ride. And now we're going on episode 200. Holy shit. <laughs> so, uh, and of course, this goes out to you guys as well. We, Like I said, I, I wanted to do something like this for a whole minute. Just kind of like a little filler episode. Yeah. You know, um, episode 200 will be out next Monday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. There yeah. is there is nothing that we do in front of the camera that, that could be done without your sponsors and without mm -hmm. your viewers. Yeah, we have to give it yeah. to everybody that Absolutely. shows love and support. And every single person that, I mean, even some of the old episodes that we just reviewed, there's, there's peop, there were people that sponsored the show that don't yeah. do it now. Yeah. But truly, truly, I, I'm so grateful and blessed for that. Let me, yeah. can I drop a yes. little, a little uh, thing here? Yeah. Um, we have started a thing called Rogue Media Market. Okay. Um, and it is for those those small retailers. Oh, okay. Um, the people that, that show up at the farmer's market and set up and sell their jewelry mm -hmm. and their soap and all that stuff and some of the folks that have, that have advertised on your show oh, they, they maybe can't afford a big advertisement sure so that's what this is for and if anybody wants any information about that please contact absolutely me. yeah i would love to deal with some of the smaller retailers that would people be, that are just trying phenomenal. to get started absolutely you know? phenomenal yes yeah. well thank you guys again so much for tuning into this episode of the public affair this is just an intermission we've got episode 200 <laughs> coming out next week and of course more to follow the public affair yep. lives on thank you guys again so much don't forget to like share and subscribe now before we go mike i definitely you know i gotta give a shout out to Do it. more of our sponsors I want to give a huge shout out to Elite Barbershop. My boy Sid Rodriguez located on Hewitt Drive. Call the number on the screen to book it. Download the Squire app. Walk-ins are welcome as well. He has Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Cliff Fletcher, Isai Reyes, and Sam Ceballos, and Kyle Barry over there making you like a snack as I have going on 200 episodes of The Public Affair. They were one of the episodes that we reviewed today, and I'm wearing their shirt. My boy Sid Rodriguez is the GOAT. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Jay Pedro and Poke with Junior Fuentes and your entire family providing delicious, savory Japanese crepes and poke bowls. They also have handcrafted Thai rolled ice cream for dessert. You can choose from menu item like uh, or create your own like I like to do because you know I like to download the um, the app and do my own little ball uh, locations on University Park Drive and on Hewitt Drive you can also order online at jpedaltx.com or download their app to jpedal thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to my girl Anna Limones with Hummingbird Party Backdrops and Decor you can call for all party decor including beautiful balloon props giving an extra flavor to your party or event with a number of wooden backdrops and so much more and you know the husband she revealed to us on the show makes the wooden backdrops yeah. for yeah. her big shout out to her she does great she was great work. oh I love her episode yeah. out now Anna Limones Thank you Beautiful so much balloon. for sponsoring. Oh, yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And, of course, the Boyo Box and Audio with my boy Jeffrey Monreal. Home for all your LED needs and audio accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and so much more. Definitely a jack-of-all-trade and your one-stop shop. 
your one stop shop to get everything <laughs> done in one roof. He's pimped out my ride. You know, you that. know, yeah. I, 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 and I'm sorry, I know no, you're going to your things, good. but um, I drive by his place all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. And I, I always I always look at it and I'm like, oh, I know that dude. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. Just so nice. And he was yeah. on the show twice. Yeah, he <laughs> so was. huge shout out to Jeffrey Mona now. To all of you guys, thank you again so much for all the love and support. Uh, of course, to Rogue Media Network and Mike Hamilton, thank you for being a part of this episode thank with you, me. Buddy. And don't forget to always, you guys, keep it between us. Sting. That's it. That's great, man. Good job. How long was that? Was that an hour? I don't even know. You just want to get the king noodle. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this exciting episode of The Public Affair, our intermission episode, The Bridge, to, The Gap, The Fuck. The Gap to Bridge episode. The Gap to Bridge. Yes. The Bridge to Gap. The Bridge to Gap. The Bridge to Gap. That's all right. That's your, uh, that's your blooper at the yeah, end. Let me start it over. <laughs> Responsoring this episode of The Public Affair, of course, the Osiet Penguin Benitos with Funtown RV. The best in RV sales. Penguin's working overtime to make sure you and your family have the best RV, travel trailer, fifth wheel, toy hauler, you name it, for camping season. That's right. Camping season is doing its thing this year. And make sure you, ah, I fucked it up again. Stop. Fuck. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> This has been a Rogue Media Network production.